Today we are doing our second problem on systems of equations, which is 11-6. We have ourselves the problem x plus y equals 5 and 3x plus y equals negative 1. We realize that we don't have a variable set equal to the rest of the problem. Therefore, we are going to write our two equations side by side so that we can get going into our sets. So there's a couple different ways to solve this. Whoever tells me or whoever gives me which way they solve this is the way we're going to go with. But because I'm solving it or we're solving it this way, it doesn't mean that your way would be incorrect. Ultimately, if we land at the same ordered pair as our final answer, you should be good. Matthew, where are we going? What do you want to do? So subtract 3x. Uh, you want to subtract 3x from both sides. So we're starting on this, this equation right here. And you want to subtract 3x so that we have y equal to... y equals negative 1 minus 3x. OK, you guys OK with him doing that? Yeah. How many of you did it that way? How many of you did it a different way? More of you did it a different way, but some of you did it Matthew's way. So we're going to stick with Matthew's way, as I said. Matthew, what's next? Um, go to the other side. Go to the other side. I'm going to draw a little arrow. I'm going to say x equals. So x plus negative 1 would be x minus 1. Can I, do you want me to write plus negative 1? X or, minus 1. So y is x minus 1 minus 3x. Is equal to 5. Can you do that right? Yes or no? If y is negative 1 minus 3x, he took the y out and he put in negative 1 minus 3x, right? Matthew, what's next? Combine like terms? Yeah. Right, you guys? Combine like terms? Yeah. And what do you get? X. X. Negative 3x and x look like like terms to me. 2x. 2x? Negative 2x. Minus 1. Equals 5. Minus one five. Equals 5. Keep going. Add 1. Beautiful. Beautiful. OK, so we've got what we think is the x side of the ordered pair. Now what do you want to do, Matthew? Plug in. Which one do you want to plug in for? Uh, on the other side. You want to plug in for 3x plus y equals negative 1? So he's going to plug in x equals negative 3 here for the x right there. So tell me what your problem would be. 3. Yep. Uh, 13, yep. Uh, minus 1. Plus. Yeah, but y is. We don't know what y is. We're solving for y, right? Don't we have y right We're plugging in for the original. Plus y, y equals, OK, now what? Um, 3 times negative 3? Oh, so we got negative 9 plus y, plus y equals negative 1. Subtract negative, Subtract negative 9, which would be adding, right? Subtracting a negative would be adding 9. And what's y equal? Negative 1 plus 9, 8. So y is 8, x is negative 3. Yes, no? Ordered pair, negative 3, 8. Smart people check their work right now? Yes, no? Right now. And does it work when we check our work? I'm going to plug in for x plus y equals 5. And negative 3 plus 8 sure does equal 5. So it works on that problem. Sensical, yes, no. If you did it the other way, it should still work. Or a different way, it should still work as long as you're getting a variable all by itself. 